Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Span. We normally share our supplement regimen. Today we will be sharing one of our favorite snacks. I love nuts, especially walnuts. It is therefore great to come across this recent large-scale two-year international randomized study, which shows that walnuts reduce LDL cholesterol levels in healthy elder adults without causing any weight gain. The trial is very interesting in that it had over 700 participants and lasted two years, where most trials are much shorter and smaller in scale. First, a disclaimer that in this video, we are sharing a study that we found interesting. It is not a recommendation or medical advice. Now let's have a look at the write-up. Here is the paper. Effects of walnut consumption for two years on lipoprotein subclasses among healthy elders. Nut consumption has in the past been associated with lower CVD disease and mortality. And short-term trials have shown a cholesterol lowering effect. However, this trial has some unique features. They were looking for lipid changes in healthy elderly individuals in two locations, Spain and California, and it lasted two years. Based on the earlier results, the authors thought that adding walnuts to the diet would improve the lipid profile. And they ran a two center, two year trial to see if this was correct. Let's have a look at the trial. Here is the clinicaltrials.gov page for our trial. Walnuts and Healthy Aging, or WAHA. And th this is a sub-study in the larger investigation. There were 700 participants, so a reasonably sized group, which were split between Loma Linda in California and Barcelona in Spain. The participants were randomly assigned to either walnut group or control group. The age of the participants was between 63 and 79, and 68% were women. And what results did they get? Here is the changes in nutrients that they saw. It's interesting to see that both total calories and total fat increased for the walnut group, but there was no significant change in weight. And as a note, linoleic acid is an omega-3 fatty acid and is present in walnuts. So we can see a big increase in this. At a high level, we can see no significant change in fasting blood glucose. The major difference was the decrease in LDL cholesterol with the walnut group compared to the control group, with a decrease of 4.3 milligrams per deciliter and a decrease in total cholesterol of 8.5 milligrams per deciliter. And here is a more detailed breakdown of the cholesterol, which was seen using nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy we see a decrease in LDL and intermediate density cholesterol, which is also seen as a risk factor. It's interesting to note that the change was sex specific with men seeing a decrease of 7.9% and women of 2.6. There was also a decrease in the number of LDL particles of 4.3% and small LDL particles of 6.1%, which is also associated with lower risk of CVD. One caution I do want to make about this paper. The study was sponsored by the California Walnut Commission. The authors state that the commission had no involvement in the development or execution of the study. Though a number of the authors do work, at least in some capacity, with the commission. Which does not negate the results that they found. Nuts and walnuts in particular have been associated with reduced LDL, and it's good to see this result from such a large scale and long term trial, which also took place in two locations, reducing the chances of confounding factors. So I will definitely be continuing with my nuts. Mm -hmm.